Hey guys, I hope you're all doing wonderful. Um, right now, at the moment, I am in my, in, not in my, but I'm in the cruise. Um, I'm in the room and waiting for room service. I um, didn't eat at dinner today. I went today and I only got like the appetizer, but I didn't got my, like the actual dinner and all that stuff. So I went to um, the room early. <laughs> Um, and so I didn't eat anything. I did took like three pizza and that didn't do nothing. And I didn't want to eat like more pizza. So I wanted to order room service. For the longest time, room service has been free always. And you will only pay for like, for them to, you know, like, um, what's the word for it? Um, you would give them like maybe three, five dollars, you know, for, you know, bringing the food to your room. But now they are charging you nine dollars for room service. And I believe that would cost also um, all the other stuff to give them for like bringing the food over here. So, yeah, my dad was like, you shouldn't do it. Like, you shouldn't do that. I was like, that everything else is closed and the only thing it's a pizzeria and then everything else you have to pay for it and i know it's stupid for because i only order a burger and you can get all that in the you know upstairs without paying but it's closed so that sucks so yeah guys um this i, I started editing this video I edited this video they're watching right now at, um, when I was at home back in Puerto Rico and then um, to like literally a few minutes ago I started editing again the same video and I was like wait I feel like a deja vu or something because I know I edited this video already and then when I go back I was like yep I did and I was literally finishing editing the video so what I did is that I deleted the other one because this one seems a lot better I put a few words in here and there which I wasn't going to do on the other one you know but on this one I did because I did it before you know I was trying to like um, edit everything so I can get this the video already edited and done because I want to delete a few videos because it's still the second day and I don't have enough memory <laughs> and I did a journal with me video here at the cruise and I can't wait to show you guys that that will be coming in a few weeks I know we'll be editing that video um soon maybe tomorrow and do the voiceover tomorrow and have it already and done um but uh i have to upload this video first and then i have to upload another one and then after that one i think this one will be or there will be another one i have a few videos in mind um that i will to upload and also i am thinking about um recording or doing another journal with me here on the cruise i'm not sure how i'm gonna do that but we'll see um well i'm thinking one doing one in the room but i'm thinking about doing another one outside the room so we'll talk about that in another video so yeah um this spread is very simple it's very kind of like funny because it has like a spider-man actually spider-man is basically my favorite movie you know um of all time i'm sorry let me rephrase it's not about of all time um spider-man is my favorite movie i prefer spider-man i like batman but it's not like how much i i, I like spider-man but the old movies like the first and the second maybe the third one um but now the new ones I haven't seen the new ones I think there's a third one right because I believe there's a third one the first one the second one and the third one yeah um the the second movie I mean uh the other movies after those three I haven't seen them at all I haven't with different like um other aut uh, authors <laughs> Lord. different um artists not artists Jesus Christ Karen actors actors all ha start with a the different words but um I haven't seen any of them and it's because I really really love my 
Peter Parker, the first and only one, since the beginning, there was only him and just him. Okay, um, I don't know what happened there. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this spread is basically, um, it, it was a mess at first because I didn't know what I was doing. I was trying to, like, uh, take different papers and see how they look. I have in mind what I wanted, but then what I was putting all together, it just didn't feel like uh, something that I like or I want to have in this spread. So I keep working and then I was I remind myself that I had a Spider Man kind of um cardboard not cardboard more like paper like uh I don't know cardstock I think. I don't know. And then I was like, you know what, I should just cut a little bit of here and make it look like a picture and glue it and blah blah blah. And then I started playing with a lot bunch of other things and um, it's very simple. This whole um, spread is very simple. Um, so I really don't have like a lot to say about it. And yeah, but I really like how it came out. I really like how personal also the side of what you guys see right now, the what has the words and all that stuff of the book. It didn't, nothing of that had, like, when I glued all that in, I didn't have a purpose to use any of those words either. But then when you look at it, it just says something really nice. And I'm like, oh, okay. So lately, I've been choosing really good parts of a book, and and it comes out pretty darn good. So I'm actually happy for that. Uh, so yeah, guys, I wanted to give you an update here. I'm here in the cruise, and it has been really, really nice. I've been taking time for journaling, and it's good because I wanted to take some time from work. And and I, sometimes I feel like I was very like pressure. I was pressuring myself to do the journaling, journaling videos and all that stuff, and um. It wasn't because I was pressure. It's because at home I had the work, and then the heat is really hot there at home, and I had to deal with like my brother's dog and cat, and the lighting situation is horrible. Like I hate recording at home, so sometimes I didn't even even wanted to record or I don't sometimes don't even want to write at all you know because I don't feel in the mood most of the time and I come here and yesterday I wrote something before going to bed I believe and then today I did a journey video three pages I believe I think so four pages yeah four pages and um, I already want to start writing something today and tomorrow I'm thinking about doing the um, spread from today. Like um, taking things from the papers that I get and all that stuff. Um, and gluing things that I got and gluing the picture of the, the highlight of the day. All that stuff. You know, and I feel more inspired being here than being at home and to be honest, I needed this, you know, and I love journaling, I love writing, and it's not that I really am lazy to, like, record, it's just at home, there's so much stuff that really keeps me from, like, taking out my phone and recording and editing, like, guys, I've been here, and I have recorded my video, and I started editing, oh, give me a second, hey, guys, it's the next day and I just had to stop recording because I thought that the room service guy was on like knocking on my door and it's uh, it was actually my mom and my grandma and I went there and opened the door and you know my grandma guy there and they started putting like um, TV and I was like yo I'm doing a voiceover like can she just like get in the room without like having to watch TV so whatever <laughs> I um 
turn off. I stopped recording and I went to the library a little bit and I read a little and I think I was writing a bit more before going to bed. And then, um, wait, did I went to the library? I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm a liar. I went to the library after I ate. So, like, the room service guy took an hour and 40 minutes to get to my room. And I was like, y'all, it was like a long time. So, um, but I'm going to tell you, that burger, it was really, really good. Like, oh my gosh, it was really good compared to like the burgers that we have on the 11th floor this one is it was great i loved it um so it was really worth it <laughs> so uh yeah um after that i went to the library and i i had fun in the library like reading and writing and all that stuff so yeah i don't know what i was saying earlier um, but yeah, I think I was talking about like how easier it is to like do my videos and edit it here that when I'm home, it's like I'll, I have a bunch of things to do or a bunch of things in mind and I really f don't feel like journaling or anything. So here it's like very comfortable to like take out my book, my notebook and write like, I don't know. And I don't, I'm not that kind of person that I want to decor my, my, uh, my journal all the time. As you guys can see. Um, I will show you later how my journal it looks like the one that I have right now how it looks when I'm not on video most of the time sometimes I just write and write and write and write and there's no like stickers or anything in it because all I want to do is write you know like I don't really care for like ephemera I think that's how you say it um, I don't I really don't care for none of that you know but I still kind of added and all that stuff on my videos because I mean it will be a boring journal with me videos if all I do is writing like come on that's like nothing so um even though that's journaling with me but I uh, people expect you to like put like pictures or like stickers or like things that you got that day or whatever you're writing from you know people like seeing that and how you uh, make it spread all pretty and all that um, so I do try my best from time to time to like do those videos for you guys But basically I like a lot just to write, you know, and I really enjoy it Um, so right now it's like the third day in the cruise and I went to Aruba and it was really nice I took a picture and uh, um, I will be doing a journaling video which I, I did a journaling video like a couple of minutes ago and I was like Wait, I don't really wanted to do a journaling video for this for like yesterday. I wanted to do a journaling video about today from when I went to Aruba because I have like things that I wanted to glue in, things that I wanted to like try already and all that stuff. So yeah, I really, really didn't like wanted to do any like journaling videos about yesterday because it was a really boring video. Um, I record it anyways, so I maybe take that video and add it to my Instagram, just a small journaling video, and that's about it. Um, but I will try to do the other the other video um, from to Aruba um, because I have a map. Like since we're going to like this kind of um, places. They give us a map and oh my gosh the map is so freaking cute guys there was so many amazing and beautiful things here in aruba like the the houses not the houses like the building were beautifully and it, some of them were like washed out and like old and the color like the paint but they still look so beautiful i took a picture um i was sitting down in a um stairs of like to a second floor restaurant and oh my gosh guys that was like super beautiful i was really happy that my mom was able to take the picture for me and i took a few videos that i will try to um show on that journey video because guys that is beautiful like i'm gonna be honest like i was taught my dad was talking to me and we really think that aruba will be like such a nice pl nice place to move if you don't really mind like the heat and and like because they seem like very calm and quiet they don't have a lot of um people in it i think it's like a hundred and 
5,000 people or 150,000 people. I'm not uh, sure. I don't remember. I think it was 105, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, so it, it was a really small place. I didn't took any tours around Aruba because we had taken it before. I would love to go, but I was, we were with my grandma and having to like take her out of the like, take her from the wheelchair to the bus and then they said that because of the places that we're gonna go it was kind of rocky they won't be able to like go to those places she will have to stay in the bus i mean it's stupid to pay twenty dollars to go and stay in the bus like it makes no sense to be honest so yeah my mom was like also i'm not gonna leave her in it like that's that would be really bad of me if I do that so we all agree that we won't go to any tours um, but if I do ever come back to a cruise and I do go to a, like all the Iceland's and all stuff I probably would like to take a tour just to refresh my mind of the places we went because I had a great time and sometimes we were like walking around and um, talking and I was like my dad was like, oh, do you remember we bought the sheets from here, like, last time? And I was like, oh, my God, yes. When, like, grandma was with us, like, my other grandma, she took a cruise with us and my grandpa. And it was it's different from now because that place looks very, like, um, deserted. Like, this is, like, a few or it's only, like, one or two store open in that area. And everything else, like, we don't, there's nothing open in that area. It looks like nobody is actually um, renting those places. But before, that was full with, like, clothes and um, all this tourist kind of stuff that you can buy. And now it just doesn't have anything. There's still that same store that my grandparents and my dog and my mom, my parents, like, bought the cheese from. But that's about it. Like, it was very deserted. Like, it was really, like, so, I don't know, lonely and, and sad at the same time. Um, but it, it seems like a really nice place and beaches. We only saw, like, a small part of a beach. It wasn't, like, that great. But it, it was really nice. We had fun. We walked a lot. Um, and I bought a hat. I also bought like three earrings because I love earrings. And what else did we buy? I think that was it. I think I only bought that. A hat and earrings. Yeah. Hopefully I will buy another hat that my grandma was that she bought. And I wanted at the first uh, um first, but then my parents said that it looked bad on me. And I was like, when I when I get to when I got to the cruise and I actually saw myself wearing it, but it was my grandma's one. I was like, what they're talking about? Like, I look freaking cute on this hat. And I regret not buying it. So hopefully, if tomorrow we go down to, like, the next one, which is Curaçao, I believe. I'm totally looking for one of those hats. And if I find one that I like, I'm probably going to buy it. Because they look really nice on me. Like, I don't know what my parents said that it looked really bad. I don't know. My parents, they, we have a different kind of, like, um, how you say that? We... So sometimes I like like different kind of clothes and all stuff and they're like, oh, that looks ugly. No, that doesn't look good. I love wearing my shirts tucked in on my pants or my skirts. I always like that. But my parents, they don't because all they look like, all they look is, oh, like your belly is um, that, that, oh, you can, they can totally see that you're fat. I mean, I know I'm fat, you know, they just don't want me to show that I have a stomach. And there's always like, don't do this or don't do that because, oh, you will look fat or you would look this and oh, you will look that, you know what I'm saying? It was always like, if you look fat, it's good. If you don't look fat, then don't, you know, and it's something that I really, with my parents, I grew up like that. And believe me, it made my life kind of, um, hell, you know, so it was really difficult to like wear things or buy things because everything they were like oh that looks fat on you or that color doesn't suit you or that like line pattern doesn't look good on you oh no you cannot do that to your hair because that will look bad on you it's like a bunch of things and when i move out and i got my own place and all that stuff and i experience like loving my own body loving my myself and i did move back in um, now I'm more confident and when they tell me, oh, that's not going to look good on you. Why are you doing it like that? That doesn't look good. You, you should like take your shirt out and leave it out. And I'm like, well, I didn't ask for your opinion. So 
if I like it like this, then I think that's all that matters. And I do say it that I do say that a lot sometimes when my dad is telling me things, and I do say it like laughing and all that stuff. But I do want him to know that, to be honest, it's what I want. It's not what they think. They like what they want me to look because they want it. They want me to dress a certain way because they want it. They want to look me the way they they want to see me. You know, if you if you get what I'm trying to say. So I dress the way I want to see myself because I'm the person that I'm going to be wearing it. The person that I'm going to be seeing in the mirror every time, you know. And this is the clothes that I will be using um, from time to time. It's not them. So uh, I love my parents to that. They're like the best people, friends I ever had, but have. <laughs> but um, they get, they really are difficult to handle sometimes. My mom is really difficult, my dad as well, so it, it's hard sometimes to, like, um, you know, to, to, like, handle them. And me being a fatty, because I've always been fat, um, well, when I was a kid, I was, like, skinnier, skinnier than I was right now, but at that time, they would tell me that I was fat. But me being, a, like, a fat kid growing up, it was really difficult, you know, because everything looks fat on me, everything was, like, you know, and I grew up like that, and I feel really bad that that really, like, you know, it was really difficult for me. My brother said, oh, you you shouldn't let that, you know, hurt you or anything, but my dad always say, will always say things to them as well, to my brothers, you know, about, like, looking fat and all that stuff, but the one that actually stuck in, it was me, because I was spending more time with them than my brother were. Like, my brother had friends, and they were going out. I basically was always with my parents, and they would always, like, look at me and see me and all that stuff. So imagine being having to be with them all the time and then telling you th this and that about, like, how you look and your weight and all that stuff, you know. So I think they don't really get it because they don't spend that much time with my parents like I do and it's really funny so but um but yeah i i'm really happy i have grown out a lot i have changed and now everything that matters is that if i'm happy with it which you guys should do that if you're happy don't let anybody tell you anything different be you and do you okay so um yeah guys i'm just gonna go i really hope you all enjoyed this really short kind of lot like very talkative video and i will see you on my next one and a lot of more videos and journaling will be up soon from my aruba and all this cruise videos will be up soon hope you all enjoy um all my videos <laughs> and i will see you on my next one god bless you guys have a wonderful day and take care love you all bye